Hello, this is Jordan Pro Joyce, aka Frozen Shield, and I am going to show you how to rotoscope your character from the background. So, uh, basically, that means you're going to cut out your character from the background so you can put another background in its place. And I've already done it, I've made a, a video, Meet the Trapper, you should go watch it on my page. But anyway, so this is what it looks like after you rotoscope it. So, this is before and that's after and you see let me just render here see there he's waving so I I rotoscoped every frame of that and this is the black background and here's a background with it so there you go so that's what it looks like so I'm gonna show you how to how to do that there so let's go back to here and I'll just turn it off doesn't matter so I'm gonna grab the pen tool which is up here pen tool you could press G as well, shortcut. So, okay, so when you do this, you gotta watch out because this is my common mistake. Every time I click on it, it goes on the star thing here, which creates shapes. See, and you don't, you don't want to create shapes. So, yeah, you don't want, you don't want to do that. So let's just delete that. So when you have, when you click on the pen tool, you have to make sure you click on the layer so it goes to the landscape, landscape, right there. So then. So now we start and spaces to get the hand tool so you can move it around. So we'll do that. We'll zoom in a bit and so we start and basically just draw an outline of the character. I'm not doing a very good job, but I mean you would you would do a better job than I would because this is just a tutorial, right? So yeah, I'm just quickly scoping it. This is gonna look really bad, but you know, my final product's a lot better. Do, do, do. This is not what I did when I was doing it with mine. Just doing it really fast. I got a lot more points. But anyway, there you go. So it's basically I just cut them all out there, and I'll just turn this layer off so you can see. So that's what he looks like. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty choppy, but well, no, it's not that bad. But anyway, so now you've got that done. So you want to go in here. You want to go to the mask layer here, and you want to change the uh, the mask expansion. You want to shrink it one one pixel down or a few. I I usually do negative one pixels just in case if you got some some of the background in there. I'll take it away and and yeah, so negative one there and for the mask feather just put it one so it smooths it out a bit so you don't have to do it but I like doing that and it looks kinda nicer so you do that and yeah that's basically what you do and then uh, the unfortunate thing is if you see I'm doing okay so I'm doing control right arrow key to go to the next frame you'll see nothing happened yet because he hasn't moved oh wait yes he has so you'll have to do every frame so it doesn't look weird like that so that's that's why it takes a long time because you gotta rotoscope every frame so I'll just do one more frame just because so when you do this you could move your old points or you could create a whole new one it's easy to see look, there's a space there so you have to create a new mask I'll just move it a bit Create a new mask. And press G, and there you go. So you didn't do anything. So this is the V to get the arrow thing back. It didn't take it away. Why didn't it take away? I have no idea. Yet. Um, what you have to do is you go back into your masks here, and you fool around with this this thing here. See, so add. The subtract, intersect, lighten, darken. So what you want to pick is subtract. So anything inside of there will be subtracted from it. And we'll put the same settings. We'll mask expansion. Negative one. See that's see when it does that it goes in. So you don't want to do that. You want to make it you want to make it one. So it goes out of it. Or you can make it two since I didn't do a very good job. So I'll make it two. There, so look, that's pretty good. And then 
we'll just feather it. We'll feather it two pixels as well. So then there you go. So it looks nice. And yeah, I'll show you what the other things do. The uh, what it does when I subtract here. You can make like a I don't know, cut your character from the background, but that doesn't look good at all. Because you'll have a big hole in the background. The intersect is basically the same as add. Lighten, lightens it up a bit, darkens, darkens about the difference. Didn't do anything. But anyway, there you go. Um, what other things can I show you here? Nothing. I'll probably make another video tutorial. This is After Effects CS4, so if you have enough money, go buy it and try out this tutorial. Anyway, this is Jadane Pro Joyce, aka Frozen Shield. Make sure you check out my page, just type in, uh, you know, Frozen Shield in the search thing, and it should be the first one pop up. Alright, hope you found this tutorial useful, and, uh, I don't know, have a good day, I guess. Don't die or anything.